and gentlemen, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome to How to Mine Monocoin with the CC Miner. Uh, today we're going to be talking all about Monocoin, so let's talk about the price real quick. It's at $14.40, and it's gone up a lot in uh, recent time here, as you can see with the chart. Uh, it does use the Lira 2 version 2 method to mine it, just like Vertcoin, but uh, I'm going to back out from Vertcoin for a little bit. Um, due to the pools being overloaded since the nice hash crash, a whole bunch of miners run a great exodus everywhere else to find mining power and hashing power and such. So they filled up the Vertcoin pools pretty quickly. So uh, let's talk about Monacoin. First and foremost, go to monacoin.org. And it is a very Japanese site, but they do have this English thing. So click download and it will take you down here um, so you can get the you can get the mona coin core or you can get the electrum mona coin which i got so um, make sure you have that um, let me see here if i still have my electrum mona here we go so we'll bring that up so i did download the electrum mona i did not download the core but uh, i probably will sooner or later um, and then so i'll put this in the link below in the, in the description of the video. And then you're gonna go to github.com and you're gonna get the CC miner. Uh, so I'm gonna put this in the link below as well, or in the description below. And so you're gonna wanna get the either the CC miner 32-bit or the 64-bit. So I got the 64-bit and what you're gonna get is this little file right here. You're gonna get a RAR file. And so just slap in it any old folder. You can put it right on your desktop and then what you do is you hit extract here and then you're gonna get all this stuff here. So that's good for now. So now let's go over to a mining pool so that you can actually mine it. So this is Supernova. And what you do is you make yourself an account. It's pretty quick, just sign up and then you'll have an account like so over here. So then you go down to getting started. So go to help. Um, as you can see, it's a little drop down menu and then go to getting started. And you're gonna see this information here. I um, mean, you're gonna need a little bit more information as well. So uh, what we do, is we're gonna go back to our folder where we installed, or rather extracted the CC miner. And then you're gonna click on this one right here. And you're gonna right click and you're gonna click edit. So when you look at this at first, now it's not gonna look like mine. So we're gonna make it look like mine. Uh, so first and foremost, leave all this, this is fine. And then where you see A here, make sure you leave a space. You can see that there's a space right here. Delete whatever is here. I think originally it was Kekak. Um, so delete that and type in Lira 2 V2, just like I have here. Then after O, again, we're always gonna leave a space. Just delete, just delete whatever is there currently for you and remove it. Then you can copy and paste this and slap it right in there. Now, uh, when you copy and paste that, it's gonna end at CC. So make sure you put a, um, what is that, a, col a colon there, <laughs> and 2995 afterwards. So exactly like I have it, if you, if you don't even want to copy and paste it, you just want to copy what I have on here, just go ahead and pause the video and uh, work on typing that in. Now the last part, we have to make that, okay? So um, let's go to my account, and then we're going to go to my workers. So you're gonna make yourself a worker. Um, it'll say create workers here or add a new worker. And so I just named mine Mr. Sotko Worker. It doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be your name. It could be banana. It could be fruitcake. Uh, maybe I'm hungry right now, so I'm just... Uh, anyway, so just name it whatever. And then in your password field, you can put whatever you want in there, but you don't really need a password. The reason why is because if somebody hijacked your account and started mining on it, they would mine for your benefit anyway. So uh, it doesn't really matter. So I just put X. You have to put something in there. And now let's go back uh, to our notepad. So we're, we're still editing this. So remember, just click on edit there. And we're still editing this. So now go to the end here and where it says you, right after you, again, make a space and put in your username. So my username is right up here, the one you um, initially made to make your account. And so that is just Mr. Sotko. Then you have a period and then put in your worker name. So mine is Mr. Sotko Worker. Excuse me, it keeps uh, going all crazy on me. Mr. Sotko Worker. All one word here with the uh, period in the middle. So your username first, then your worker name. 
And then after P, um, just put your password there. So my password was just X, so I just put X. Again, there's gonna be a space after P. If there's anything else past this, um, there, there, there might be something about a CPU intensity or something like that, just delete that and make yours look exactly like mine, except for your username and your worker and of course your password. So you're gonna wanna basically just copy this completely and you should be just about good to go. So now what's gonna happen, um, so I'm currently recording, so it's, it's probably gonna have a little bit of a fit on me because Lyra 2 uses a lot of, um, kind of a, uses a lot of video, it, it takes away your frames. Um, so now when you click on it, it'll start to fire up and I am now mining, uh, but I'm actually gonna turn this off before I start uh, really mining, um, just because it will lag my uh, computer and the video. So now you might wonder where am I mining to? Um, so you have this dashboard here and you wanna go to account, edit account. Uh, before you start mining, uh, let's do this. Um, so I got a little bit ahead of myself here before we start mining. Um, so you have a payment address here and that's your payment address for your Vertcoin, uh, or excuse me, uh, Monacoin wallet. I've been all about Vertcoin lately, but uh, I'm gonna try and step away from it just for a little bit because there's so many people mining on the pools. Um, it's hard to get a share right now. So if you are also mining on Vertcoin One Click Miner, um, as, I, as I made a video about uh, a few days ago, um, try this. Um, I've, I, I think I already got a share and I was mining on it for like 20 minutes, which is pretty much unheard of. But um, so, so far so good. Um, so your payment address you'll put down here. So you're gonna go to uh, my account and then edit account. And your address here is gonna be empty. This, this field will be empty. So just uh, if you have the Electra Mona wallet or if you have the Mona Core wallet, doesn't really matter. Just take your receiving address, go ahead and copy that, plaster that right in there. And you'll also have this four digit pin um, to save this. Also, you'll wanna mess with your automatic pay uh, payout threshold. Um, that's just below your uh, payment. Um, so their minimum is 0 0.1. Uh, for it to send to your wallet. So I decided to just point, point one. Um, you can put whatever you want. If you want to just mine 10 of them before it, you get paid or just one of them, either way, it's up to you. But the minimum is point one to uh, 8,000 Mona. So if you can happen to mine 8,000 Mona, um, there you go. And then you'll have to put in your four digit pin and you make that when you are uh, making your account. As you can see, you can reset your password and your pin up here. Um, and then you update your account and that essentially saves your payment address um, to this uh, supernova pool and which is your wallet and eventually you will receive coins so i have not received any coins yet because i have not been mining that long uh, but i do intend to mine a good number of coins um, or at least until something better comes along um, so right now mona is basically the number one coin to mine at the moment um, it's it pays really well you're you're getting shares pretty quickly however the difficulty is going up pretty quickly because people are jumping on mining this coin um, and if you would like, um, you can actually go to the website, whattomine.com, whattomine.com. Um, and you can just probably Google it and you'll get the link right away, of course. And that will show you um, a list of, of GPUs and you can put in your GPU and then, and then click calculate. And then if you scroll down a little bit on that site, you'll see the top uh, rated uh, coins for you to mine and what most people are mining and monocoin is um, at the top or is pretty much close to the top um, by the time I make and release this video so it's uh, very profitable right now so again you just go to supernova you're gonna make an account on here and just do exactly what I did in the video and you should be good and now this CC miner is designed for Nvidia GPUs so if you have an AMD GPU um, you can find other script miners like this one I have showed you um, today, um, and it'll work better for your AMD. Now, this might not work at all if you have an AMD graphics card, um, and this is not for CPU mining either. Um, you probably could, but with Lyra 2, um, CPU mining is basically useless. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, if you're an AMD user, go ahead and find yourself a different script miner and you can pretty much just google it like what what miner 
works for AMD cards, and you'll see a ton of them. Um, and then what you do is essentially just do the same thing, is that you edit the batch file here, and that's what you actually uh, double click to run this thing right here. And when you edit that batch file, you'll put in the stratum of this, um, of this website as I did earlier um, in the video. So if you just add this, then you're, um, and then also if you add uh, the Lira 2. So this this CC miner right here, this can actually mine a lot of coins. It can mine, it can mine Equihash, it can mine um, uh, Lira 2, it can mine all different kinds of algorithms, Kekak and etc. cetera. Um, but it depends on what it's going to mine when you put this in here after the algorithm. So the A is the algorithm. What algorithm shall I mine? It asks you and you demand Lira 2 version 2 and it starts to mine Lira 2 and then this connects you to that specific pool so that you can mine that. Um, but I hope this, gu uh, this guide helped you guys out. Um, so I wanna keep making these um, whenever new coins come out or whenever uh, there is a top coin that um, that is that is more profitable than Mona coin. I'd like to keep on top of that. If that's something that you guys are, are interested in, I'll keep on top of that. Um, but I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit. Um, so again, just go to monacoin.org. Go ahead and get yourself the wallet from here. Um, this link will be in the description below. Um, so you can just get Electrum. Um, this is a very quick download. So this is a very small, lightweight client, as it says. Um, and this is the core. So this would actually take you a while to download. And then you have to download the entire um, transaction history, so to speak, of Monacoin to be able to, to actually have the core wallet. And then uh, I will also have this link in the description below as well. So when you take this link, you're going to get either the 64-bit or the 32-bit. I know it says x86, but that's what x86 means. For some reason, it means 32-bit. I think I looked it up a long time ago, and it's confusing. Whatever. Just know that it means 32-bit. You likely have 64-bit. They pretty much don't even have six, the 32-bit operating systems these days unless you're way back on Windows 7. Um, and uh, then you sign up here at Supernova and follow my instructions to a T and you should have it just fine. Hope uh, hope this video helped you guys out. Again, I know I've said that a couple times. Um, but if there's any questions, comments, concerns, please put them down in the comment section below. I always try to check my comments daily, and I try to answer your guys' questions. Sometimes you guys have questions that even blow my mind, and I'm sorry I just can't help you, so I end up having to just say, uh, go on to a Reddit and ask the question. But um, I try. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as usual, I'll see you guys next time.